we are in Wellington, New Zealand, and I want to give you a little bit of history of this beautiful country. Did you know that New Zealand was one of the last major land masses settled by humans? It's true. A fascinating land with a rich tapestry of history, New Zealand's story begins with the arrival of the Maori people from Polynesian islands around the years 1250 to 1300. These first inhabitants, isolated for centuries, developed a unique culture, language, mythology, and arts that continue to thrive in the modern era. Fast forward to 1642. The first European explorer to sight New Zealand was Dutch navigator Abel Tasman. However, a violent encounter with the Maori people meant he never set foot on land. It was not until 1769 that British explorer James Cook circumnavigated and mapped New Zealand. This led to increased European settlement and trade, forever changing the landscape of the country. In 1840, the Treaty of Waitangi established British sovereignty while recognizing Maori land rights. Yet this was not a peaceful transition and conflicts over land continued. 12 years later, New Zealand became a self-governing British colony and the capital moved to Wellington. A landmark moment in New Zealand's history came in 1893 when women's suffrage was achieved. This milestone made New Zealand the first self-governing nation to grant women the right to vote. The indigenous Maori name for New Zealand is Aotearoa, often translated as land of the long white cloud. The Maori language and culture remain an integral part of New Zealand's identity. This identity is further enhanced by the country's unique wildlife, including the iconic flightless kiwi bird and the massive weta insect, one of the heaviest insects in the world. New Zealand's dramatic landscapes range from volcanic mountains like Aoraki, Mount Cook, to massive underground caves and the colossal volcanic crater that formed Lake Taupo. These landscapes were showcased in the Lord of the Rings film trilogy, boosting tourism and placing New Zealand on the world stage. In the present day, New Zealand, with a population of just over 5 million, boasts a unique statistic. The country has far more sheep, around 27 million, than people reflecting its agricultural economy. Rugby union is considered the national sport, with the All Blacks rugby team performing the traditional Maori Haka war dance before matches, symbolizing the enduring influence of Maori culture. In summary, from the arrival of the Maori people to its present day status as a self-governing nation, New Zealand's history is a compelling journey through time. Its rich cultural heritage, unique wildlife, and dramatic landscapes create an intriguing blend of tradition and modernity. From the Treaty of Waitangi to women's suffrage, New Zealand's history is marked by significant milestones that have shaped the country we know today.